Top Gun 2, why Tom Cruise wasn't allowed to fly an F-18 fighter jet. Subscribe my channel and press notification bell to all, if you are new here. Although Tom Cruise pilots multiple aircraft in Top Gun, Maverick, the US Navy forbade him from piloting the F-18 Super Hornet. Set for release in July 2021, Joseph Kosinski's sequel to Tony Scott's 1986 hit Top Gun promises unmatched and unforgettable aerial combat scenes that emphasize practical effects over CGI. Although Cruz is known for performing the vast majority of his own cinematic stunts, some of his proposed tricks for Top Gun, Maverick proved overly ambitious even by his standards. In an interview with Empire, Tom Cruise said he told Top Gun, Maverick producer Jerry Bruckheimer that he agreed to return as Maverick with one stipulation, I said to Jerry, Bruckheimer, I'll do it if, meaning, I'm not going to do the CGI stuff. In other words, Cruise signed on for the project only with Bruckheimer's agreement that the film's effects not be reliant on hokey-looking CGI. Cruz was so ambitious, in fact, that he had initially hoped to fly a real Boeing F-18 fighter jet. A certified pilot, Cruz is well accustomed to high-octane aviation stunts. Many Cruz fans will already be aware that many of the more impressive helicopter stunts in 2018's Mission, Impossible, Fallout were performed by Cruz. However, Bruckheimer maintains that the U.S. Navy ultimately denied Cruz's requests to fly the Super Hornet, which boasts a price tag in excess of $70 million. Although Top Gun, Maverick does feature the F-18 jet, those scenes were all completed with the assistance of Navy pilots. According to Bruckheimer, Cruz does get to fly a P-51 propeller-driven fighter plane in addition to some helicopters, so with the help of some judicious editing, the aerial scenes should remain highly convincing. Bruckheimer has yet to divulge any specifics about why the Navy might have nixed Cruz's aspirations to pilot the Super Hornet. The most logical reason is insurance concerns, which is always enough to prevent actors from doing their own stunts. It's worth noting, however, that a real F-18 would constitute roughly half of Maverick's $152 million budget, which would likely create some logistical nightmares when it comes to insuring the film, not to mention insuring Cruz himself, who, though a certified pilot, has little experience piloting supersonic military aircraft. Insurance woes aside, should an inexperienced pilot such as Cruz lose control of a high-speed aircraft, it could also mean peril for civilians and or military personnel on the ground. Fans will have to wait until summer of 2021 to see Cruz return to the danger zone as Maverick. Judging from interviews and trailers, it appears as though Bruckheimer and Cruz are sincere in their claims that Top Gun, Maverick emphasizes practical effects over CGI. Both the actor and the producer seem committed to creating the most immersive experience possible. Perhaps fans can agree that this movie holds plenty of thrill potential, regardless of whether or not its actors are actually piloting multi-million dollar fighter jets.